assalamu alaikum welcome to our new lesson based on future continuous tense so dear students this is kashmiri language grammar course so subscribe our videos and i would say these tenses or this kind of tense is used when you are speaking or at the time of speaking at the time of working something use continuous tense so i will write here पक 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 वोल वी कॉल फ्यूचर कंटिन्यूस टेंस so dear students pak won is a verb call first we will show you which kind of helping verb is used we will use a se helping verb and this is for the subject like third person singular or third person feminine or masculine so this a se gets it change according to how at the subject so a se is for he or she Means so or so. Now R C changes to, but the structure remains the same. That means R C changes to asan for third person plural. For example, they, them, whom, them, uh, whom. now this is also used sometimes like they but when the subject is used like this timo 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 that means he she timo now asan for they now it changes to asan changes to asak for you So, and it changes to also. It changes to also for we, and it changes to a few for you as plural. So now, dear students, the formula for this future continuous tense will be crawl that is subject then then there is helping verb helping verb duck crawl duck duck crawl and then there is chromut see here first comes chromut and then comes crawl that's verb kra wood that chromo is object and crawl is verb now dear students let's frame some of the sentences here so we will use so so when we use so uh, this when we use uh, so we use the helping verb as here so as here then the chromo first form of verb is used so dear students when we add anif noon anif noon to first form it remains first form as well or sometimes when we use para roza dwara this is also first form but this change on this only shape so so i say paran so i say paran he will be reading now so when we use so as this subject we also use so i say so i say so i say uh asan she will be laughing and i will read on english she will be laughing now if we use the subject like tim so we have to use asan tim asan paran they will be reading now if we use the subject 
Okay. Or do it. Do it. Assume. Do it. Assume. Gathan. Now. You will be going. Gathan means going. So. So ashi paran. So ashi asan. Tem asan. Asan. Do it. Assume. Asan. If we use the th. Th. Asak. So we use. Asak for th. Th. Asak. Vayan. Or. Th. Asak. Vavan. You. Will be. Sowing. The seeds. Th. Asak. Vyol. Vavan. Vyol means seed. So dear students. If we have to make a negative. We have to say. Subject. Then. Helping verb. Then n, we have to use n in between helping verb and crow, or in between crowd and helping verb. So I can n karan, so I can n paran, so I can n asan, so I can n paran. Tim asan n paran, tu ekshu n paran. So n n n we have to add it becomes you uh, not be uh, like this. You will not be reading, you will not be laughing, you will not be reading, you will not be going. So this will become this negative. Now, and when we have to uh, make questions, we add this. And yeah, and if we add to this, asha, like now. Tim as, we add elif to it. Tim as na. And when, sa as kha, we add elif to it. Uh, aswa. Tui aswa. Tui aswa paran. So we can say, so asha paran. Will he be reading? So asha paran. Will she be reading? So asha paran. Tim asna paran. Will they be reading? Tui aswa paran. Will you be reading? So these are the sentences here for the questions. Send in the case we can make uh, interrogation negative. So ask na paran. So ask na paran. So ask so ask na paran. Will he not be reading? So dear students, you can use more and more helping words, more and more verbs in order to frame different kinds of sentences here. So our lecture was today about future continuous tense. So this is yenuvol kal or pakun yenuvol kal. Yenuvol kal means future tense. So, Patmun in Volkal is continuous tense in future. So, we have the formula first, crowding, that subject, and then we have our shape, and their case, the shape. Now, in traditional grammar, there are some more sentences they use, I will show, which are incorrect. They are not correct. So, I will show here, in traditional grammar, how they use. One more uh, way to uh, do this continuous, uh, like, Tim Asan Ab I will show their sentence B As B As B As Lek Mun B As Lek Mun So they say I will be reading This is incorrect B As As Mun B As Lek Mun B As Dua Mun this is not correct and people don't speak these constructions here, these sentences here. So you'll be uh, with my lessons only. So see you in our next lecture. Till then, goodbye.